Glory be to God in the highest. We welcome you once again to our faith broadcast coming to you from Glory Impact Christian Center. My name is Oluwa Busola Afonlayo. We're still talking on the nature of God's word. I you know yesterday was so so expository, you know, about the nature of God's mm -hmm. word. And there was a particular sentence, you know, that's that hit me that he said that the process of creation and sustainers is still ongoing through the word of God today. Hallelujah. So that means our lives it is sustained by the word of God. Amen. You know, created miracles Amen. are still happening through the power in the word of God. Amen. And you know, in Amen. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3 says, I'm just going to read the amplified version. It says, He is the sole expression of the glory of God, the Amen. light being the outweighing or radius of the divine mm. and he is the perfect imprint mm. and very image of God's nature mm. upholding and maintaining and guiding mm. and propelling the universe by his mighty word of power Hallelujah. so there is an upholding by the word of God mm. our destinies can be upheld by the life in the word of God. Hallelujah. You know, we can maintain, we, we are maintained, our health can be maintained mm. to be in perfect health mm. by the word of God. So that is guided. So mm. we are guided to be in the mm. right path by the word of God. So and propelling the universe. Lord you know, I believe God. God for us that the universe will be propelled. You know, to walk in your favor, Amen. to cooperate with you, Amen. to see that everything works together for the good. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're going to go once again into the word of God, and we're still looking at the nature of God's word. Welcome with me, Dr. B.C. Afolai of the city. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. We give thanks to God for another privilege to bring his word to you. You know, we've been talking on the subject of faith, and specifically in the last two days, we've been looking at the Word of God, voicing the Word, and then we began to look at the nature of the Word of God. We discovered that the Word of God is not an impersonal being, it's not a mere word like the Word of man, the Word of God is a person. And we were able to see that. And we saw yesterday why Apostle John, writing in the Gospel of John, used the word logos for the word of God. The divine reason behind the creation of the cosmos, the universe, and the sustaining of the cosmos and the universe. And that divine reason is the word of God. God. And we saw that the word can walk. Mm -hmm. The word speaks. Mm -hmm. The word calls. protects, calls, and provides. provides. You know, the word of God provides. And we saw that when we put this word in our mouth, angels are empowered to make sure that the word comes to pass. The life that is in the world. Uh, We're going to look again today. We'll start from Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10. Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10. Pastor B, I want you to read for us. Okay. Verse 10 For and as 11. the rain cometh down and yeah. the snow from heaven, mm -hmm. and returns not neither, yeah. but waters the earth and makes it to bring forth mm. and bud, mm. that it may give seed to the soil mm. and bread to the eater. Mm. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, yeah. it shall not return unto me void, yeah. but shall accomplish that which I please, mm. and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we, we, we concluded yesterday by saying that from the word of God that the word did the work of creation and the word is sustaining creation mm -hmm. and we established from the Bible that creation has not ended mm -hmm. sustaining of creation has not ended because the word still goes on in this work and all we need to do is to constantly voice the word of God now, 
One of the things we, I want us to see today from this passage is that the world is intelligent to carry out an assignment and to give reports. Now it says, the word that proceed out of my mouth, it will not return to me void. But not just that, so when the word goes, it comes back to report. But it says, it will accomplish that which I please. Mm, it will true. accomplish that which I please. So whenever the word is sent, the word will accomplish that for which it is sent to do. It will accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in that you know, where to I sent it. So it will prosper in it. It will produce result. And that's why you have to keep the word without keeping quiet. Mm. Keep the word in your mouth. Mm. Now, in the book of Mark, Jesus Christ says something about the word. In relation to Isaiah chapter 55. Mark chapter 4. Now, Mark chapter 4 is a parallel scripture to Matthew chapter 13. And in these two parallel passages, Jesus was talking about the kingdom of God and how the kingdom of God operates. <clears throat> now, in Mark chapter 4, please, I want you to read uh, for us verse 26. Mark chapter 4, verse 26 down to 29. And he said, So mm. is the kingdom of God. As if a man should cast seed into the ground, mm -hmm. and should sleep and rise night yeah. and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he reck not how. Mm. For the earth brings forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then mm. the air, after that the full corn in the air. Mm. But when the fruit is brought forth, mm. immediately he puts in the sickle, mm. because the harvest is come. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we look at the way Jesus was talking about the kingdom here. And, uh, you know, Jesus used a teaching method called parables. And what are parables? Parables are, you know, metaphors that are extended. When you expand a metaphor, it becomes a parable. And it, it, it is a type of a figure of speech that we'll find, you know, in the Bible. And Jesus used parables to teach a lot. Now, in a parable, you are using what people know to explain what they don't know. You are using what the people know to explain what they don't know. Now, at this time uh, in Israel, most of the people Jesus was teaching were farmers. So they knew about planting. And then Jesus was using that to explain the, how the kingdom of God works. And Jesus said, this is how the kingdom works, as if a man, a man. So to see the work of the kingdom in your life, it begins with you. Amen. Hallelujah. It begins with you. Hallelujah. You know, a lot of times we are waiting and thinking, oh, how I wish I can get somebody or Jesus can just come down from heaven and then do this in my life. Mm -hmm. Now remember in John 17, 21, I mean Luke 17, 21, Jesus already said the kingdom of God doesn't come with observation. Mm -hmm. Neither would they say here is the kingdom of there. For the kingdom of God is within you. So you are a child of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Now to see the kingdom at work in your life, Jesus said, it begins with you. Amen. Now, I think it was on Sunday that we took time to explain on the kingdom where Jesus said, you cannot serve God and mammon. That is, you cannot combine the principles of God's kingdom and the kingdom of the world together. That it doesn't work that way. That was a Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, that was a Sunday morning. Okay. That is on the YouTube. Dr. B.C. Afolai on YouTube. You can get it. And all these sermons are on my YouTube page. Right. Now, 
So we said there that you cannot combine the two kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Now, as a child of the kingdom, to see the kingdom manifest in your life, the Bible says it begins with you. As if a man. So it begins with you. So if you don't do anything, you don't see the kingdom manifest. So stop wishing, start doing something. Mm. To see the kingdom bring healing. To see the kingdom bring provision. Mm. To see the kingdom bring protection. To see the kingdom, you know, bring the blessings of Abraham. Mm. Start doing something. Mm. Stop wishing and stop complaining. Hallelujah. As Glory if a man, what should a man do? Should cast seed. seed into the ground mm -hmm. a man should cast seed into the ground now please i want you to read for us pastor b that's in mark chapter 4 i want you to read verse 14 mark chapter 4 verse 14 verse 14 the sower sweat the word now the sower sweat the word Jesus was trying to explain the parable of the sower here. And he still went ahead to still talk about the kingdom and talking about how the kingdom works because of the word. Now, so what is the seed that a man takes? The seed that the man takes is the word. You know, the Bible in basic English says the seed is the word. Hallelujah. Amen. The seed is the word. The farmer plants the word. The word. And the seed is the word. The seed is the word. The seed is the word. Now, the Bible didn't say in the verse 26 that an angel took the seed. Mm -hmm. The Bible didn't say that your pastor took the seed on your behalf. No. The man himself takes the the seed. The man himself takes the seed. The man himself takes the seed. Mm, that's our own responsibility. Yeah. So you have a responsibility to get the seed of the world. Glory to God. You have a responsibility to get the seed of the world because the Bible says the man takes the seed and what did he do? He sowed the seed in the ground. Sir, you know something that a farmer will do anything to get a good seed to, to plant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know when I was little he would do anything. When I was little uh, when I was in my secondary school my dad used to have a big farm so I go to farm a lot and I know about farming. And I remember when we harvest yams, we labor all through for nine months to plant and all that. And when we harvest the yams, I noticed that my dad then will keep the best ones. And I was little, I was just like 12 or 13. So I would ask him, why are you keeping the best ones? He would say, these are the ones we will plant in the next season. Mm. And we, we don't eat those ones. We don't touch mm. them. Mm. It keeps them safe somewhere. Mm. You know, it does a platform, raises a platform, mm. and keeps them and covers them. That is the one we will plant next year. Mm. It, it keeps them very good ones. The best. The best. The best, seed. the best seeds. And I remember then he would tell me, these are yam seedlings. Mm. You don't touch those ones. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, so the, the man took the seed, it's your responsibility, and sow it to the ground. What is the ground? Now, we have established that the ground is the heart of man. We established that in one of the episodes. The ground is the heart of man. Now, the man takes the seed. Now, look at this. The moment the man plants the seed, this is where I'm going. The Bible says 
he can go and sleep. It says, and the seed should spring and grow. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He knoweth not how. how. Can, can you look at that from the cage New Living Translation for Night me? and day, while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. Wow. So, there is life in the seed. In the seed. Hmm. You don't need to do anything extra. <laughs> the Bible says you don't have to bother yourself. Glory to God. If you can get the seed, there is life in the seed to make the seed reproduce. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To make the seed reproduce. Hallelujah. So the word of God can always reproduce mm. once. A man labors to plant the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So when you begin to voice the word mm -hmm. and you are voicing the word, you are creating an atmosphere mm -hmm. for the seed to grow. Hallelujah. For the word Hallelujah. to reproduce. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when every time there is this process, you know, every time you speak the word and you speak the word, you know, the word actually gets established into your heart. Yes. When you speak it out of your mouth, yeah. it is very important mm -hmm. every time you speak it. But that's not the dimension I want to talk about today. Mm -hmm. The dimension I want to talk about today is that the word is sufficient in itself to reproduce. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord word Lord. is sufficient in itself to reproduce wow. without adding anything. Mm. Mm. Without adding anything. The Bible says the man goes to sleep and to wake. Mm. But because the word is sufficient mm. in itself, mm. the word begins to reproduce. Mm. And the man doesn't know how that mystery is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony I shared uh, two days or three days ago? My first encounter with voicing the word of God. Then I was a new believer. I have never had any teaching on faith. 1988. Nobody taught me on faith. And I was sick. I was dying. And a voice said, start repeating this, start saying it. Mm. And after a while I stopped, he said, no, continue. Start saying this word. Mm. I shall not die but me. Mm. But declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I kept saying it. A time came. I didn't know that when I was saying it, I was creating an avenue mm. for the word. Because it is sufficient in itself yeah. to reproduce. Hallelujah. So I was creating a platform Hallelujah. for the world to reproduce, Hallelujah. and the world reproduced Hallelujah. and brought healing to my body. Glory be to God. So the word alone mm. is sufficient. Mm. If you will create an atmosphere. For the world to reproduce. Glory to God. If you will create an atmosphere for the world to reproduce, the word in itself is sufficient. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So keep the word in your mouth, and as you keep the word Hallelujah. in your mouth, that's why he told Joshua, he said, this book of the law, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, shall not depart out of thy mouth. Now, a lot of people put it in their hand. It does not depart out of their hand. But that's not what God is saying. He said, it shall not depart out of your mouth. 
I want to ask you, how much of the book of the law have you spoken, have you voiced today? Remember, it begins with a man. A man. A man. The man. Not with a wish. The man taking the word. Not with a complaint. The man taking the word. Hallelujah. Glory. Not with bitterness. The man taking the word. No, we memory. The man taking the word. And as the man takes the word, the word is sufficient in itself. So it is intelligence in itself to reproduce itself. That's why God said, once it goes out, it doesn't return to me void. No. In other words, there is no obstacle, no demonic power, no ancestral yoke, no household wickedness, no witches or wizards that can limit or hinder the world from reproducing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said it won't come back void. Mm -hmm. It won't come back mm -hmm. void. Mm -hmm. It will come back with result. Why? Mm -hmm. The word reproduces by itself. Glory to God. Glory to the God. word reproduces. So that means the word is living. It's living. I guess we repeated that yeah. yesterday and two days ago. Yeah. In Hebrews chapter 4, yeah. verse 12. You know, where it says the word of the Lord is alive and active. It's living and powerful. And powerful. Sharper than, than any two-edged sword. Is living and powerful. So, which means, let all the witches come together. Let all the wizards, let all the ancestral powers, all the household wickedness, let all of them come together. All the yokes of the enemy. Sickness, disease, poverty. They cannot stop the world from reproducing if you will keep providing the platform for the world to reproduce. So if you are not seeing a change, check it. Perhaps you are not giving a platform for the world to reproduce. And that's what I want to tell you today. Fear not. <laughs> no matter what the devil is bringing to your heart, fear not. Put the word in your mouth. You know, Pastor B, I want us to do something today. You know, because I don't want us to just learn this and then we have to put it to practice. A lot of people hear teachings like this, but they don't put them to practice. They don't put them to practice. I want, you know, I want you to read. Let, let's, let's voice Psalm 21. Mm -hmm. We are in a time when there is fear. We are in a time when people are afraid. No, we are in a time when people have uncertainty and they don't know what is going to happen. Hallelujah. You know, let, let's, let's put the Hallelujah. word in our mouth. Hallelujah. I want you to say this and I want everyone listening no, to us God. today no, to repeat God. these words no, in God. faith. Repeat these words no, in faith today and you're going to see the power of God Amen. manifest. Remember, no, the word alone is enough. No. It is intelligent and it is living and it can reproduce. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory be to God. God. Glory yeah. to God. Pastor B, Hallelujah. can you just lead us in that word? Hallelujah. Want to create the platform and the atmosphere for the word of God mm. to reproduce and mm. to begin to act on our behalf. Amen. Right where, where we are, we are seeing the operation of yes. the power in the word of God. Mm -hmm. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, mm -hmm. as we recite the word of God, as we give voice, as we give yes. life to the word, this, give this voice to the word. This, 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 I will lift up my eyes. 
unto the hills. I will lift up my eyes unto the from hills. From whence cometh my help? From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. Which made the heavens and the earth? Which made the heavens he and the earth? He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He will not suffer moved. my foot to be moved. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that me does not slumber. He that Keeps me does not slumber. He that keeps Israel does not slumber nor sleep. He that keeps Israel does not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade. The Lord is my shade. At my right hand. At my right hand. The sun will not smite me by day. The sun will not smite me by night. Nor the moon by night. Nor the moon by night. The Lord will preserve me from all evil. The Lord will preserve me. Me from the all evil. Lord will preserve my soul. He will preserve my soul. The Lord will preserve my going out. The Lord will preserve my going out. The Lord will preserve my coming in. The Lord will preserve my coming in. From this time forth. From this time forward. And forevermore. And forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to be to God. Glory be to God. God. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. Can you look at that from the New Living Translation? Okay. Yeah. He will not suffer my foot to he be moved. He will not let me to stumble. He will not <laughs> let me to what? To, to stumble. stumble. You won't stumble into COVID-19 infection. Amen. In the Glory name of God. Jesus. He won't let you stumble. Amen. You will not stumble. Amen. Financially, you will not stumble. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, name your health Jesus. will not stumble. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. please go on. Hallelujah. Go and on. I want to say this one I have set the Lord always before me. Yeah. He's at my right hand. I, I shall, shall not be moved. moved. Psalm 16. I shall not I be moved. Shall not I shall not be, be moved. moved. No he matter. says, The angels of the Lord mm. encamp. Around them, mm. they surround them. Mm. They form a shield, they mm. form a guard, and mm. camps. They take permanent residence. Yeah. That is what it means. The angels will mm. take a permanent residence around, around. them mm. that fears the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He has given his angels charge over, over you. Me, over mm. you. To keep me and you in all, not some of our ways, mm. but in all our ways, yeah. they shall bear us up upon their mm. wings, so that we don't dash our foot mm. against the stone. Mm. Glory be to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Amen. God. Can you read the rest of verse 2 and verse 3 from the New Living Translation? Okay, my help comes from the Lord yeah. who made heaven and earth. Yeah. He will not let me to stumble. Uh -huh. The one who watches over me will not, not slumber. slumber. Verse 4. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. That's why. The Lord himself watches over you. The, the, Lord, the Lord himself, himself. watches over me, watches oh. over my household. In the mighty name of the Lord himself. He has not delegated mm. it. Mm. Oh, he has mm. not delegated mm. it. Mm. That's like the Lord himself is yeah. one watching mm. over you. He's one watching mm. over me. He has his eyes upon mm. me. He has his eyes upon you. Amen. He will not allow any evil to be found. He will not allow any plague to come near your body. He will not allow it to stop. He will not allow darkness to overcome you. Yes. He will not allow death to yes. stand on you. He will not yes. allow pains. He will not yes. allow griefs. He yes. will not allow sorrow. Yes. He will not allow any oppression yes. of the wicked. He will I'm not allow the God of the wicked to fall upon your portion. That is like the Lord Jesus. Himself is one that is watching over me. Now, now, now read the last phrase. Oh there. God, the Lord stands beside you as your protective, protective shade. He's all standing beside us. Everywhere you go is your protective shade. Amen. 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 It's your protective shade. Glory From COVID-19, it will protect you and your house. Glory be to God. Now, keep this word Hallelujah. in your mouth. Hallelujah. Keep this word in your mouth. God bless you until we'll see same time tomorrow. Remember, the world is living Amen. and is intelligent to reproduce. 
when you give it the platform. Amen. Keep speaking it. Keep saying it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. And I want to use this medium to invite you tonight. But in the next two and a half hours, I will be on Zoom. And if you want to join on the teaching that I've been doing for the past uh, four weeks now mm -hmm. on end time, mm -hmm. every Wednesday I've been teaching on decoding the Antichrist. Today we shall be looking at Armageddon, the Antichrist. We'll be looking at the third Jewish temple. And uh, we'll be looking at uh, the salvation of Israel and the future regathering of Israel. These are very important things that we need to know, you know, as believers. And I will encourage you, you know, to join us and uh, be a part of these prophecy studies. You know, if you want to be a part of it, inbox me. I will send the login details to you on Zoom. We have people joining from all over the world, from Canada, U.S., down to Australia. And you can be a part of it. And the Lord bless you so much. I want to appreciate all the people that join us today. Uh, Pastor Dele Yedele from London. God bless you so very much. Donna uh, from Finland in California. God bless you. She has even shared it. You know, I want to encourage you. Why not just do like Donna did? Help to share. Let's have 100 people, 200 people sharing these messages Hallelujah. and let them be a blessing to the world Glory a lot of people God. you know are, are, are sent testimonies you know of how they have been blessed and their lives have been impacted by these words so let's share on our pages donor you know gladgoski god bless you from the first Square church finland in los angeles god bless you kulia labi wow dr kulia labi god bless you pastor damian shogun God bless you all the way from Den Haag, you know, from Den Haag in, in uh, um, Netherlands. God bless you. Sangan Balang from Malaysia, you know, Donat Uke, Jigia, Digon, Diego Rodriguez from, from, Rodriguez from uh, Brazil. God bless you. You know, so many other people that we cannot mention because of time. God bless you so much. And join us tonight for the eschatology by 9.30, it will, I mean by 9 p.m. Okay. Nigerian time. time. It's not going to be on Facebook, so inbox me for the login details uh, on the Zoom. God bless you Amen. and see you tomorrow. Amen. Amen.